Who You Are Makes a Difference by Hellas Bridges, an excerpt from Chicken Soup from the Soul. A teacher in New York decided to honor each of her seniors in high school by telling them the difference that each, they each made. And then I, I guess I'm supposed to do this. Uh, shy and awkward, but they want to see people, right? Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. A teacher in New York decided to honor each of her seniors in high school by telling them the difference they each made. Using a process developed by Hellas Bridges of Del Mar, California, she called each student to the front of the class, one at a time. First, she told them how the student made a difference to her in the class, and she presented each of them with a blue ribbon imprinted with gold letters which read, Who I am makes a difference. It's very interesting that you picked this topic and then this is at the end of this article after how we started our class. That was not planned at all. Okay. Afterwards, the teacher decided to do a class project to see what kind of impact recognition would have on a community. She gave each of the students three more ribbons and instructed them to go out and spread this acknowledgement ceremony. Then they were to follow up on the results to see who honored whom and report back to the class in about a week. Nice usage of whom. Objective. Objective. Okay, all right, objective pronoun. Uh, one of the boys in the class went to a junior executive in a nearby company and honored him for helping him with his career planning. He gave him a blue ribbon and put it on his shirt. And then he gave him two extra blue ribbons and said, we're doing a class project on recognition. And we'd like you to go out, find somebody to honor, give them a blue ribbon, and then give them the extra blue ribbon so they can acknowledge a third person to keep this acknowledgement ceremony going. Then please report back to me, tell me what happened. All right, let me see here. So she's giving each one three. She's giving each one one. Okay, and then she gives all of them three more. And then this guy gives them another one. So it has nothing to do with that. So it means that it's just, if there are a hundred students, they'd end up with at least 300 ribbons they go out give out, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, that makes sense. All right, the math works. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Third person, come back to me. Okay, later that day, the junior executive went in to see his boss, who had been noted, by the way, as kind of being a grouchy fellow which is a polite way to say that dick, all right? <laughs> he sat his boss down and he told him that he deeply admired him for being a creative genius. The boss seemed very surprised. The junior executive asked him if he would accept the gift of the blue ribbon and would he give him permission to put it on him? And the surprise boss said, well, sure. The junior executive took the blue ribbon and placed it right above his boss jacket, boss's jacket above his heart. And he gave him the last extra ribbon. He said, would you do me a favor? Would you do me a favor? Would you take this extra ribbon, pass it on by honoring someone else? The young boy who first gave me the ribbons is doing a project in school. And I want to keep this recognition ceremony going and find out how it affects people. This lady is a masterful writer. I just want you to know that, okay? She's good, okay? All right, there is a poetic, uh, childlike quality to the way that she reminds the readers of the project. Um, and it's like reading Goldilocks or, or like uh, Hans Gretel, you know, th those kinds of patterns, okay? Okay. Mm, all right. And that's why it's good. Okay. That night, the boss came home to his 14 year old son and sat him down. He said, The most incredible thing happened to me today. I was in my office, and one of the junior executives came in, told me he admired me, gave me a blue ribbon for being a creative genius. Can you imagine that? He thinks I'm a creative genius. Then he put this blue ribbon that says, who I am makes a difference on my jacket above my heart. 
He gave me an extra ribbon and asked me to find somebody else to honor. As I was driving home tonight, I started thinking about whom I would honor with this ribbon. And I thought about you. I want to honor you. My days are really hectic when I come home and I don't pay a lot of attention to you. Sometimes I scream at you for not getting good grades and for your bedroom being a mess. But somehow tonight, I just wanted to sit here and well, just let you know that you do make a difference to me. Besides your mother, you are the most important person in my life. You're a great kid and I love you. The startled boy started to sob and sob and he couldn't stop crying. Sobbing is crying and like, <laughs> you know, it changes your breathing, right? His whole body shook. He looked up at his father and said through his tears, I was planning on committing suicide tomorrow, dad, because I didn't think you loved me. Now, I don't need to. That was precious. The end. All right. So that's where, you know, you got to kind of appreciate people. Um, you don't always know whatever they're going through for the dramatic side at the end. The, the other one is just the practicality of it. Um, like something like we did today and writing a letter to your, to your teacher when you're graduating. That's, that's a very practical thing to do. I know that not everybody thinks it's practical, but I find it to be so because of this story. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I think that's a great note to end this on. And then we're getting a little emo today. Too many emo moments today. But uh, it's good. It's the good kind, though, right? Um, it's the good kind. It's the it's the fuel kind, All right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Have a wonderful evening. I'm gonna go find something good to eat with my lady because. Um, I wrote her an email on that. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye.